this is all going to be about footage that I got yesterday, because yesterday was the 4th of July, uh, America Day. It was America's 2019th birthday yesterday. I'm, I don't actually believe that, but, you know, it's for a It's like, you, it used to be that you'd go on Twitter and you'd see people saying that unironically, and now you just see people saying that ironically. And it's not as funny anymore when they do that. I am a, a patriotic person. I have my... I have an American flag on the wall. You've probably seen that in the background before. N nothing much to talk about before I get to the footage from yesterday. Uh, so let's just dive right in. Started off yesterday uh, in my basement. I was talking about some stuff to do with uh, the system test videos and things like that. Hey guys, so uh, we're going for the hostage uh, situation theme for the videos again. Uh, I know it's probably not too bright in here. Today is a very special day. It is America Day. Everyone knows that. My plan for today was that I was going to go out to Washington DC and watch the fireworks at the National Mall, but as these things go, there was some problems, mainly the weather. There's a severe thunderstorm warning here and there and there's scattered thunderstorms everywhere in the DC area right now. I kind of can't, and to add insult to injury, I can't do pretty much anything else that would make today a productive day. I can't film the system test video because there's too many people here. I can't make test footage because that wouldn't require me to go outside where it's raining. Uh, the only thing I can do today that might be productive is go to the thrift store, but I'm pretty sure they're closed. The guy on eBay is definitely not going to be messaging me back by the time I record the system test, so I have something else right here, and I'll actually show it to you. So I have that right there. It's it's a little bit different from what it was in the last video. It, it looks kind of the same, but yeah, there's just some slight differences with it. And uh, I think some I think maybe some of you guys might like it. I don't know. It's an interesting combination to be sure. So yeah, that video is ready for filming. I'm excited to film it and upload it and everything. I haven't made a vlog in a couple days, and in that time. Uh, I did go out and got more test footage. I didn't really get any footage, like vlog footage from that, uh, just because it was just a basic adventure to Alexandria again. I really need to find a new place to go because a lot of those clips from the test footage are kind of starting to look the same. So I kind of scouted out some interesting spots in the DC metro area and I think I found some pretty interesting locations that I can't wait to take you guys to and I can't wait to go myself. That's some things to look out for in the future. Maybe some sort of like behind the scenes of a system test video. You might have seen it in comments in the about section on the channel, but uh, I'll give you a little bit of a technical introduction to making a system test video for me. The camera that I use to record system test videos is, is this camera right here. This is a Sony HDR CX7. It's, uh, it's a pretty beefy camera. It records 1080 60p video or 1080 60i and then Vegas Pro deinterlaces that to 60p. And, uh, you know, this camera, this camera was manufactured in 2007. For being, what, like 12 years old now, the video from it looks pretty good. Um, I think I might make a switch to a little bit newer of a camera. And the video on the newer camera isn't as sharp, but it records in 60p instead of 60i. And the microphone is a little bit better, so it's just, I don't know, it's a thing. It might be a thing in a later video. We'll find out when we get there. Let me share like just two tips with you if you're starting out making system test videos these are some things that I really should have heard uh, when I was making videos in the beginning because they're mistakes that I made in the beginning so one of the big mistakes that I think I made in the beginning uh, when I was making system test videos was that I never really paid attention to where I was pointing the camera you'll notice in a lot of my earlier videos there's a lot of like pointing it at the floor or just like shaking it around, not really keeping it steady, walking around, making sure it's pointing right ahead. That's something that I would definitely suggest people take note of because, you know, if you want to make a good video, you're going to want to make sure you have consistent, steady camera movement. You don't want to make your viewers nauseous or sick or anything like that. And another thing that uh, I used to do that I don't really know if I want to bring attention to it because I don't think anybody else has noticed, but something that I used to do in a lot of my earlier videos was that I would say 
things not only that I've heard other more successful people say in their videos, but I would also use like similar voice inflections that more successful people have used in their videos. And at least in the editing board and when I notice it in my own video, it just, it doesn't sound as good when I said it as it did when those people said the thing or in the certain voice inflection. So the bottom line is that just be yourself. You don't need to emulate anyone make your videos and don't I don't want to use the word copycat because honestly when it comes to a system test video they're all they all have a pretty similar format and a pretty similar theme people tend to subscribe to these channels not because they like the content people tend to subscribe to these channels because they like you and they like you as a video creator all of the across all of these channels on YouTube whether it be my channel, it doesn't matter who. All the big channels, all the small channels, they all have the same devices. When people subscribe to your channel, they're doing it because they like you. So the fact of the matter is that when you start making videos, be you, and I think you'll find that people are more likely to subscribe to someone who's being themselves than someone who's trying to be or sound like somebody else. I don't know. That's my two cents. And then as the uh, main event of the 4th of July closed in on us, uh, my mom realized that she was missing some cooking ingredients. So my brother and I went down to Harris Teeter and picked some of those up. In lieu of our typical adventure to uh, Washington, D.C. that we do on the 4th of July, uh, we saw it fit to go to uh, Harris Teeter instead. I think that's a good substitute. It's really hot in your car, you know. What were we here to get again? We need a giant container of like vegetable oil and Pam. Harris Teeter always has like the weirdest music. Where's the uh, essential oil? Is that over here? None of these containers are big enough. <laughs> Me too. I don't know, that looks pretty big. I mean, you can just probably get another one. So they have, the only vegetable oil they have jug of Harris Teeter brand vegetable oil. How many do we need? Ten. To, what? I so want to see if they have sour skittles here. I can't find them anywhere. Why do you want sour skittles so bad? What's with you? You have this thing with sour skittles, don't you? Yeah. I'm going to have to that out. Yeah, I'm going to cut that up. Well, these are the sour skittles. You're not going to find a bigger bag than that, dude. Now look what you've done. Oh my gosh. Raging Reds. I've, I've heard this phrase before in the, with the other furries. <laughs> Everything here is more expensive than it is at Wegmans. It's more expensive here than it is everywhere else. Oh, really? I'm sorry. I want you to know that I just use the tap to focus on the camera with my nose. Can I just stand here and complain for like 10 minutes? So what all do we have here? We have the pan, we have vegetable oil, and you got candy. I would say that that is a successful shopping trip on the 4th of July. And then finally, there was the severe weather. Uh, this storm rolled in, and this was particularly the storm that prevented us from going out and being able to actually see any fireworks. Of course, I didn't stop people in my neighborhood from launching them, but soaked out there if we went to watch them. And I wouldn't be able to do anything with the camera anyway, so I even I read in the news in D.C that they had people sitting out in front of, I think, the Capitol building or something, and they had to evacuate them because of the severe weather. You know, things like that. It's just stay home, uh, listen to the fireworks, I guess. In case you want wondering, I can see myself. It, this is, the camera has like a flip out screen, and I look at that instead of the lens, which you can probably also notice. And so I'm just trying to keep like the the face tracking. The fact of the matter is that I did not go out yesterday to see any fireworks, which is okay. Instead, here's some footage of the severe thunderstorm from yesterday.
So it looks like it's gonna rain in DC again. Why is the weather, what? Well, the weather's so crazy consistently here now. I swear it never used to thunder this much. I mean, not that I'm complaining, you know, I like it, but it's definitely just kind of an interesting observation that the weather has been noticeably more crazy this year. Look at that, there's a, there's a giant thunderstorm right there. We probably have a severe thunderstorm warning. I know we have a flash flood watch, probably a warning there too. the video I've got for today. Here, I know where to go from here. I'll show you something that's kind of interesting. In 2015, I bought this from eBay and I installed this program called Logic Studio on it. I've been playing around with it for the past couple of years. Um, I've been learning how to sort of Compose with Logic Pro. Basically, basically what Logic Pro is, it's this little, it's called a digital audio workstation. And what you do is take audio loops and arrange them into a composition. I liken it to putting together a puzzle because you have all the pieces. The pressure is on you to make something out of them. And so, and it has a lot of like built in virtual instruments and so I've been using that for the past couple years and eventually that MacBook got a little too slow and so I went to an estate sale at some point and got this for $50. You can see the price tag there. I think I finally kind of broken open the technique on working with these loops. You can see I've sort of got this project going here and it's pretty cool. I have a couple of different plugins here like stylus RMX and it's got all sorts of different loops that come with it and then I have a loop library from this company called 9 volt audio and they've they're uh, defunct but yeah it's a uh, it, it's really cool it's a lot of fun I don't know well I know that I'm going to release this album at some point it's probably not it's probably more of like an EP or something because there's not going to be very many tracks on it probably towards the end of the year like November December that territory 
when that time rolls around, I'll be sure to let you know, but I'm having a lot of fun working with it, and uh, I would encourage you to look into digital audio workstations if you want to get started in working with making music. Well, obviously, you should probably get started with learning how to play an instrument, like a keyboard there. I, I don't really know how to play a keyboard very well, so I'm just trying to, like, teach myself in any way that I can. It's just, uh, I feel like that would be a rather useful skill for someone who wants to uh, try to make music, but, you know, what do I know? For Mac and on PC, they have Fruity Loops or Magic's uh, Music Maker might work a little bit. Um, that one kind of sucks, but, you know, it's cheap. I have to edit this video because this was supposed to come out yesterday, and, uh, bam. I used to do this thing where I would, like, hit the camera whenever I turned it off, or whenever the vlog was over, so it's kind of like, you know... Like that kind of thing. Bam.